call the meeting to order. We'll start with a roll call. We have Marion Barnsley, Bill Bolton, myself, Rebecca Hansen, Bridget Powers, Bonnie Sears, and Jack Scarborough, and Brian Murphy. Um, we will start with a review. It's windy in here. Um, of, the <laughs> <laughs> of the minutes from our meeting two weeks ago on the 19th. Does anyone have any comments, corrections? I um, had one question. Uh, it's got down here that, um, was Chris Buckley here last time? I thought he was on his vacation. He was not here. Right. Mm -hmm. He left two days later. He left the 19th, right? He wasn't at the meeting, though. Oh, okay. No. He was not at the meeting. Yeah. I think that's the only thing I saw that I... Oh, yes. The other thing that I was wondering, it said, um, it didn't say here about, didn't we have John Ranlett, Ranlett yeah. was here, and I don't see that that's on there. Right, okay. And actually, you weren't present as oh, a right. as a member. member that evening, so John Ranlett instead of Bill Bolton. Okay. Um, and we could add to the, it does acknowledge that I felt badly that you were not that you sat through the entire meeting, Bill, and so we had a discussion of the master plan. Um, so we could add that Bill Boy Bill Bolton joined the conversation when we started talking about the master plan. I found these minutes to be amusing to read. <laughs> They're enjoyable, so I have to go grab some of those clips. Um, any other comments on that? Would anyone like to make a motion to accept these minutes as amended? I would move so. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Minutes are approved. Next up, continued work on the master plan. Um, I don't have a lot to report as far as what's going on with the master plan. I'm still trying to meet up with um, um, Polly about the um, some of the formatting. I think we're running into a timing crunch, and at which point I will just take over and finish it. So. Um, which I think we're getting about to that point. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so any other comments and edits and the graininess? I'll fix that. So um, you will fix that. I will fix that. Oh, it's, not, it's not just a bad resolution to you know give us. They're not being imported into the program correctly. They're just being oh, screenshotted okay. instead of being imported. So um, it might end up being a bit more work than I'd like to do. But at this point, it's probably what's going to have to happen. So. Um, but hopefully I'll meet with him tomorrow. Um, we're just having trouble coordinating with schedules, and I'm really slow to return emails. So, Madam Chair, yes. I, I would offer, I, I have a pretty good background in imagery. Okay. And if you need any help, I'd be happy to do that. Great, thank you. The issue right now is just getting it into the InDesign program, so if you have access to that and the ability to use that, um, I think that's just, I have access to it, and I have the skills okay. to do it, so unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> this was the backup plan, and we might be hitting the backup plan. Okay. So. Okay. Um, so I think we have some students here today that are going to present um, where we are with the Plymouth Data Book, the Volume Two of the Master Plan. Am I correct? Yes. Okay. You guys want to come on up, introduce yourself, and uh, present what you've got. <clears throat> And as you, it's best if you can present into the microphone so it is captured for the record. Okay. Yeah, Madam Chair. Did you guys all sign the the sign-in sheet? Yes. Please do that. Where we can get your names correctly. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Um, I'm William Mack. Um, I worked uh, with my entire class on the Plymouth State Master Plan, and we hopefully got Volume Two done on time. I, in particular, worked on updating the library section and transportation. Um, I'm Matt Ordway. Um, do you have the fi our final 
updated version? I've not gotten it yet. Okay, so we were under the impression that that was going to be sent to you before this, and then we were going to ask you if there was any more. Updates. Okay, no, I was not under the impression that we were going to get it yet. I thought that we were getting it next week is what I think what Steve said in the email. But um, oh. So, yeah, we don't have it yet. Oh, so, yeah. so I thought that, we, yeah. that you would have by now. No. Nope. Um, I don't know what <clears throat> Yeah, I'm Jake Coughlin. Um, for Volume 2, I worked on particularly uh, Plymouth history and a lot of it. Um, yeah, and I guess uh, I learned a lot from uh, learning about history here. You know, there's more history than I thought. And um, yeah, and I enjoyed working on it. Thank you. Yeah. Any questions? I know we haven't seen it yet. Um, I think we're going to get a copy of it next week. Um, that's what I believe it. I don't know if you were copied on that email as well, Brian. It might have just been me. I have to dig back through. I don't believe I was, though. Yeah, yeah no, I, I was not expecting it. Um, so. so from your perspective, it's done, though? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It should be. <clears throat> I don't know about the formatting, but it should be on its way. Is that? There's a bucket on the table. Yeah. Oh. We have a chiller yeah. that's leaking through the distracted. ceiling in the other room. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I had, had a meeting there earlier, but we had to move. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is speaking of history. <laughs> <laughs> it's an uh, old building. Yeah. <laughs> Disregard that drip. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know if we can really, and we're sort of dealing with something that doesn't exist mm -hmm. in front of anybody right now, so I don't know if we can ask any specific questions, or does anyone have any other questions for these guys as far as, I know there was, some of these pieces were like the last little bits you guys had to get information, but you were able to get the library information and stuff like that. Yeah, it should be honest. I think everyone that was working on it has their piece done, okay. so it should mm -hmm. be getting to you guys any day. Okay, I think maybe going through a final edit or something yeah, like that, maybe that, Reagan is working on that, so. Um, Questions, comments? Thank you guys. This has been huge for us. So Thank really you. Awesome. Thank you. Yes. We appreciate it. Yep. <laughs> yep. Thank you guys. Thank you. All right. Um, so because we're sort of we're in sort of edit limbo right now, I don't have a whole lot more. I thought we'd get more from those guys. <laughs> but uh, but that's okay. Um, so I think um, hopefully we'll get that the data book circulated and we'll have these ready to go hopefully by next meeting. But I'm getting busier and busier, so it's if, hard. If they get it to you, I'll print out the whole data book for every member. Okay. <clears throat> and then we can go through it at that point. Okay. I mean, if this is just the raw stuff, you still have to do your magic on it with the yep. in design. Yeah, and I think that I want to prioritize the, the master plan as opposed to the data book just to get that so we yes. can get a draft to it, which I think we're, we're getting fairly close. It's just some of the some of the tables, the implementation tables are so grainy, they're pretty much not readable. Mm -hmm. So um, so I'm trying to, I'm gonna have to fix that. So, <clears throat> so given that it's almost, school's almost over, will we actually have time to do edits? Would they have I'm, time I'm to gonna do have edits? to do, the, we're gonna have All to absorb the edits. Hopefully that we're gonna get the data book from them in something that's consistent at least. Um, and then we'll have to designate somebody to go and just make sure everything's consistent and typo free and, or is typo free? Correct mm -hmm. bonds. Right. Yeah, we don't want any Times New Roman in there. <laughs> um, we'll take over. Yeah. <laughs> um, as long as it's not like wingdings or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> wingdings. Yeah, wingdings one and wingdings two. <laughs> uh, this is, yeah, we're going to miss you, Bill. <laughs> um, okay, so... A couple other things um, that I would like to mention if we're, we're going to move on to new business. I sent an email around today, but for Bonnie's benefit, anyone who didn't see this, um, I was contacted by a student at Plymouth State. I don't know why this printed so large, but it is big enough for a poster. Um, he's um, doing a presentation for his master's research tomorrow, and he's talking about the benefits of trees and parking lots, but um, he specifically asked for this to get passed to the select board and to the planning board. So if anyone is interested, um, I've seen him present. It, it is really interesting, though, you know, what you can do with trees and parking lots and the benefits that ensue. So, um, yes, yes. Yeah, frameable size, so. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I don't need these glasses. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> it's a Perfect. miracle. We're going to print on tabloid size from now on. Thank you, Tyler. Yes, I like this. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, the other two things that I kind of wanted to talk about is, seeing as we have a really a big agenda for next 
public hearing as we did last meeting. Um, there's two things I want to discuss. One is meeting protocol and sort of wrapped into that is um, shutting down people when the conversation gets beyond uh, around not where it should be. Um, so in our bylaws, it and if anyone is familiar with our bylaws, correct me if I'm wrong, we have, it says that the before we approve, accept the application is complete, we say we have to listen to a presentation from the um, from the applicant. The bylaws then don't say that, you know, it's not, it's supposed to be a brief presentation, then we accept it as complete, and then we have another presentation, which is kind of how we've done it in the past. I guess I'm just trying to um, get everybody's take on, sometimes I feel like we get so lost into this presentation that we forget to accept it as complete, or, so I'm trying to get sort of an idea on, um, do we want to just sit through the long presentation, and what everyone's take. I, I think if you were clear to the applicant mm -hmm. that you wanted a synopsis, yep. just so you can, you know, get, uh, justify that with, with the application yep. in front of you, you know, and give them an arbitrary number, you know, say up to five minutes. Yep. Okay. I tried, maybe it wasn't clear enough, I tried to do that with the Frosty Scoops one and then the presentation lasted a, a long time because they had specifically had waivers, so addressing waivers, I think, when the application is complete seems to be helpful too, so, um, okay. Does that make sense, everyone? Does that work? Yes, Ideas? I do have a comment, though. Yeah. If when we call for public comment, mm -hmm. it should be applicable to that issue that we are addressing specifically. I have some specifically. more information on that, too. Okay. Not, not an invitation for public to come up and address a broad spectrum of that, whatever. The heading for publics unrelated to the agenda, mm -hmm. public yes. comment, came from the Riverside Landing sessions uh, because there was a lot of that so there were people that wanted to be heard about unrelated matters mm -hmm. uh, and there were also people with agendas coming in so that was split out so they could get the people with with the general interest mm -hmm. ones up front mm -hmm. and then have comments related at the end um, it's just a matter of striking that heading from the agenda if you prefer and just do you know the public comments uh, after you know as they are here at number seven mm -hmm. I also added you might say a chairman's discretion yep. because it's definitely at your discretion here mm -hmm. at public hearings the, the public has a right, right but you have the right to keep them on point yep. Okay, so do we want to move the public comments unrelated to the agenda to the end of the meeting? Mm -hmm. Okay. Or even new business and have them understand that if they have comments, they can address it formally through Brian on the next agenda. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, new business should be directed through Brian. Right. You know, it's, and, you know, it should, they shouldn't just bring up some new idea right. that mm -hmm. hasn't right. been fielded. But. Right. And, and it's entirely the board's call mm -hmm. as to how you want this. I mean, you, you could say topics limited to the agenda items, for that matter, if you want to keep more on point. And, and it is a, a case, I mean, that, that when we're overloaded like that, mm -hmm. every minute counts. Right. Um, you know, also, there's like a self-winnowing process by moving it towards the end. Mm -hmm. Especially like, with the loaded agenda, I like moving it to the end with at the at the chairman's dis discretion, and um, which brings me to um, elbow nudges from everybody here, <laughs> which are welcome. Um, so if you think that we shouldn't be, you know, I'm I'm not a dictator here. <laughs> so um, if you want to say that I've had enough, we're let's not open it. Up, let's not open up stuff unrelated to the agenda. I'm fine with that. I also would appreciate. Um, just trying to make sure that if I need to be shutting something down and I'm not doing it quickly enough, um, I don't know, throw a pen at me gently or whatever, get my attention. Are we allowed to bring squirt guns or something? Yeah, squirt gun would be fine, yep. <laughs> so if we can reach the hammer, can we use that? Or? Yep, <laughs> yep, be creative. So Before. Yes, <laughs> and, and, and recommendation, don't hesitate to gavel somebody down. Yep. Yep. No, this is the first time I've had to even think about doing it, mm -hmm. so, um, so I just, I will work on doing that, but I also, you know, if I'm not doing it, I might be trying to insert myself, <laughs> but feel free to like get my attention and just be like, cut it down. Mm -hmm. so. so I understand clearly 
if if someone has a question the proper protocol is to go to you and have that item put on the agenda rather than bring it most, up at a no, meeting most of that stuff goes to the board of selectmen uh, the new business that i bring forward or or uh you know like classes and and uh, things of that nature or you know things that the board should be aware of mailings from the state you know okay. that matter uh, you know if if because i you know i'm, I'm kind of leery of, of putting public on the agenda this right. isn't really the forum for that that's what i'm trying to yes. figure out so it, and it seemed no, from if somebody last called me and said I'd, I'd, I'd example, say it, it's, it's inappropriate he didn't know where to go with the question yes so well it also was a matter of the answer that was given was not the one that was sought yeah so <clears throat> that's where if, if it's asked and answered that's the end of the discussion as far as anybody I mean he was directed in no uncertain terms where to go to get his answers mm -hmm. and he persisted so at that point I the rules and what we're discussing here he would have been a candidate for being shut down got it okay. um all right so please if you think i need to um i am when i'm doing this i'm tr hopefully trying to represent everyone here so mm -hmm. um i'm welcome to any sort of suggestions so i just i just would be uh worry about uh being too stringent on everything so that the public i don't want the public to say oh gee mm -hmm. you can't get a hold of them yeah you can't go and say anything you want to i mean they could come here and and ask okay i don't know if this like this is the proper place or yeah. just ask for a little bit of guidance yeah. mm -hmm. uh, that would be fine you know yes I, and and certainly that those questions <clears throat> can be taken up here yeah. yeah but just recognizing that it's not a discussion it's yeah. a question right you can't take a whole whole half a night on it right. and you get other stuff that's you true. know and certainly you know you're the arbiter of that mm -hmm. um, but the members can weigh in and and you know I'm kind of leery of doing that because I'm not really of the board right. um, but I will always try to ask politely right for something and or get Marianne to do it for me come on it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I would like to leave it on the agenda but move it to the end especially seeing if okay. we're gonna keep getting four um, I can certainly uh, change that to public comments related to the agenda and other comments at the chairman's discretion. Okay. Yeah. okay. Would it be helpful to include the Article 9 with the application process so that the applicant knows what their re restrictions are? So article nine. This the public hearings, the, the conduct of the public hearings governed by the following rules. So if when they made their application they got a copy of this, they would see that everyone wishing to speak can do so for no, no more than three minutes. Mm -hmm. okay. That was another help them shape their present mm -hmm. obviously they came with a lot of materials and were prepared for a lot more than three minutes, not realizing that that was their limit. Three I minutes have, is for the um that's for the for public the, hearing. Yeah oh okay yeah. right mm -hmm. yeah three minutes wouldn't be long enough to, if anybody wanted to no present something especially if we had questions mm -hmm. but i yeah, think the, the, the applicants get unlimited time and and to go a little bit further on that bridget i've never seen that case where an applicant had, had to make another comment other than you know getting more information on the board like on the way out the door oh by the way can you amplify x but not something where they would jump off the rails and talk about something else. Those guys are pretty focused. But the mechanism is there to curtail that if, we, if necessary. Because, you know, it's Rebecca's meeting, actually. Right. But just bringing that up, too, just, and I don't, it's hard to say what's, what's going to be a contentious application where there's going to be a lot of people commenting on one side or the other, but just remembering that we're not. I don't usually worry about the three minutes per um, I would recommend that you remind folks yeah. to direct all comments through yep. through the chair yep and I'll just because you could say that's not appropriate yep. next yep okay. uh, the ATC was that um, I know it was in the select board it was like a, a big meeting mm -hmm. but wasn't it a big meeting here as well it wasn't I think we limited the time it wasn't huge it wasn't like the select board one it was um, there was definitely comments but mm -hmm. um, 
but I think it was well framed and that this was, a, you know, this could be any business going in here. So it didn't get super crazy. Yeah, okay. Right. There, there were a lot of comments. Was that it? Wasn't it a planning board meeting? Was it the mm -hmm. board, it was a board meeting? Mm -hmm. Board. I mean, that was like they might have done a, a presentation to the board yeah. for the public. Right. Um, I think the ones that I've seen have been the uh, maybe the hotel, mm -hmm. liquor store, those ones. Yeah, Riverside Landing. Yeah. 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 So um, I think those are ones that we had to keep at three minute comments. A lot of the comments at that level are taken care of at the zoning board mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. For the, that's where the contention starts. Yeah. Um, but once they've gotten to that point, um, they either don't seek anymore, or they have put conditions on something that satisfied the the, okay. the person. Any questions, comments about procedure? Be brief. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any um, preference to how you would like the the order done for these? I mean, here's a perfect example with with these. Um, do you like to go easy first, just to get people out? It's. I think so. That's okay. what I think. Just to get those. You know, someone's here for a simple, you know, boundary line adjustment. It just seems ridiculous to have to have yeah that that's the way i've been setting yeah. it up I'm, okay good yeah. does that does that make sense for everyone else mm -hmm. yeah okay um okay so for past procedure um i do want to just encourage a little more discussion um and we had talked about a couple meetings ago about having like a list of okay we have a site plan review these are the things we're going to talk we're going to um as we review okay lighting storm water things like that so as we review these next ones just think about those questions that you're often asking when you're reviewing so then in the next couple of meetings we can come up with a i think just maybe a list just that goes at the shoot back me of an your, email with any thought yeah. and i'll put it all on one and we, we can go through yeah. it yeah so if you have any ideas like that so just there's certain things that we are always asking about but i think it might help especially since we have well a couple of new no you guys have been here for a little bit but um I feel new still. Yeah, I felt yeah. new. <laughs> uh, I just oh, did uh, I say that out loud? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but just some things that are like, these are, I think it just might be helpful to be like, okay, mm -hmm. this is getting my mind thinking about the things I need to be looking at. So I think it just might be helpful. Yeah, so. Definitely for me. Okay. Yeah. So, um, but uh, just I think the more questions we can ask and dumb questions, smart questions, I think they're all, they're all good. So. <laughs> Right. Questions, comments. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's ironic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anything from anyone else? Where is the uh, presentation going to be? Oh. Um, I can see from here that it's <laughs> uh, 102. Hyde Hall, no, no, 120. It's, that was no, it's. Man, I, I was going to show up at the wrong place. <laughs> yeah. Hyde Hall, 120. Okay. <laughs> I can see it from here. Yeah. <laughs> I want to get down the other You guys see it from there, too? <laughs> what time did you say that was? 120? Um, 12.30 in room 120. 120 is the room. I have it. I do have a question actually about, um, you know, I guess I'm having trouble um, sinking in my mind the overlap between the master plan and the um, zoning regulations and the planning regulations. And I, and, I, and I wonder about, you know, questioning an applicant based on something that's not regulated, but it's suggested. And, you know, I had asked Alex about um, you know whether he intended his place to be open to the public or not and and he, he had a he, he said he didn't know how to respond and I, it made me wonder if he was thinking well that doesn't have anything to do with any regulation I'm aware of so you know what is the purpose of my question if there, it's not relevant to any regulation that would preclude his application what was that question directed to? It was the uh, uh, about, about the, the Frosty Scoops property being. I, I asked if he intended it for it to be a public space. Yeah, the park. Yeah, mm -hmm. the trails and the picnic area and. 
Yeah, you know, I don't think he was thinking about zoning. Well, I think he was just thinking. About, I think he was caught up in definitions. Yeah. Yeah, I just don't. I guess I could use a tutorial on, you know, what is the acceptance of my curiosities about these projects in context with the regulations that we're here to uphold. Mm -hmm. I think you can ask them anything you want in this world and you know if they can answer that that's fine but you know Brian's sitting there too and if it became like a disagreement or something and you have to refer to the zoning but you can ask anything mm -hmm. and yeah. if I could from from this seat and from my seat on the zoning board zoning is there to enforce regulation we're here to facilitate utilization of assets within those areas that are zoned um, and if they need to alter the use within zoning then they request a variance of the zoning board mm -hmm. um, and we again are here to facilitate their use of the properties yeah in, it, in planning you know it's it's any question it can be asked of the board because you're trying to get a real broad sense of what the project's about so even though we don't have design criteria for colors or or things of that nature it's appropriate to say you know what color is the building going to be or how is it going to be lit um, we a, a case in point is the dark size skies initiative mm -hmm. we support it but we haven't adopted it so by by you saying, and like Steve did at the other one, that he would like to see lighting at the uh, the grotto installed under the dark skies criteria, by having that included in the uh, the condition or, or you know brought forward at, at the decision, mm -hmm. he's bound by it. So in other That's words, yeah, I, <clears throat> not helpful to know. maybe not to the letter of the law, but just to the spirit. So it's downcast lower lumen lighting for example it's almost like a would you be willing to do this and yes. then they agree to do it and they're bound to it right um, instead of like in the public spaces if we were to not approve that application because he wasn't going to make it public there's no statute that backs up why we're rejecting that application which right. could ultimately get us into trouble so. you know it, it so you know knowing the way he runs his operations people are going to wander there at will that's just the way he does business. Right, but it's um, important but to it, know. But it's built specifically to accommodate his customers. Right. So that's why I think he locked up when you asked the question because he was caught between, well, what is it really? And he, you know, wanting to give you the the correct thing, but it's, I think the idea is, you know, he didn't want to come out and say it at a meeting, oh, it's open to everybody, come hang out and throw frisbees. Yeah. You know. But the fact that, you know, you're welcome to walk through and, and look at this lovely oak grove and, and right. things of that nature. So Perhaps he knew what I didn't, that if he had said, sure, yeah, that's yeah. binding him. You know, it, well, it, it, we can't really bind that far because that's something, that's a use that we're not determining here. But if everybody in the viewing audience hears it and they want to have a picnic there, then it's an issue. And he doesn't. I believe doesn't want to look like the bad guy by saying you know this is really kind of for our customers you know but you know I'm sure there'll be plenty of those and he can accommodate those however he, he probably wouldn't want to be flooded unless they were also supporting the frosty scoops you know what I'm saying so well you know it's a little clear as mud it's they're yeah. bound ish yeah but not really and and then the question of enforcement is up to the zoning right. board if it is in fact a bindable issue right exactly. exactly but maybe it's not but maybe we're just making them think about what we would like to see yes yeah, so we've, we've negotiated a lot of a, a lot of different things I mean like sidewalks mm -hmm. you know or uh, the type of foliage that you know I guess we were kind of like uh, directing or at least suggesting to um, you know the hotel that the certain foliage should be this or that or or you should have something there right. and they agree to it and it gets done so or not as in the Irving case that Chris brought up that was, was the, that? Uh, the the landscaping yeah. who maintains it once it's mm -hmm. in yeah 
it's the best it's the best attempt yeah. Yeah. yeah but it's trying to negotiate we're supposed to know you know the spirit behind the zoning ordinances and the things that aren't quite enforceable maybe yet or maybe not ever but things it's like what is the spirit of all this input that goes into the master plan gets churned through and then we see that and say okay it's in the spirit of what this town wants that we would like to see this this and this in this development knowing that we're not necessarily we can't make them do that but we ask them to and and it's sort of a negotiation they they let us know what they think they can do and we we meet with them in the middle somewhere and oftentimes zoning or uh, amendments come out of questions from the board you know if you've noticed for example that you've seen an awful lot of this request you know and it's always going through the, the zoning board well maybe it's time to take a look at that that happened with fences a perfect example for years and years and years if you wanted to put a fence outside of the building setback you had to get a special exception which is ridiculous because you're giving up 15 feet to the sides and rear and 30 feet in front of your property to keep your dog on your property mm -hmm. so we looked at and we did that's what happened we got a whole bunch of these requests and and the planner and i said you know maybe it's time to have fences like they do in the rest of the world which are located <laughs> on your property line so we got close we got within a foot uh, but mostly that was so you can maintain the exterior of your fence so your neighbor isn't looking at this nastiness all the time uh, and plus you can erect it on your property without you know survey issues that kind of thing so you know it it, it it all kind of adds together I mean you, you kind of get this feeling and you go well, you know wait a minute this this is something that we shouldn't be dealing with here but the only way to not deal with it is to make sure that it goes through the other processes mm -hmm. thank you that's helpful is it mm -hmm. okay Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, order of the court. Yeah. <laughs> Madam Chair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Hook. Yes. <laughs> or a cowbell. I do have a spare egg timer that we can, you know, an hourglass style. Oh, you yeah. need one. So. Three minute timer. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Maybe mm -hmm. that's where it comes from. Because then I have to, otherwise, I have to figure out how to make my phone do that <laughs> immediately. All right. Um, so I don't have much else. Unless anyone else has anything, then um, I have, we could open it up for any public comments at the board's discretion. <laughs> Are there any comments from the public this evening? Well, yes, thank you. <laughs> uh, two, two comments. One is dealing with your uh, comment about uh, any obligations about asking certain types of questions to an applicant. and. The case in point is a lot of people apply permits beyond the town's land use regulations. They have to go through state and or federal. And one of the prevailing questions in the state or federal application is, are you or is your project in compliance with the spirit and intent of your master plan? I know this firsthand because I did my airport and so they're looking at you complying with all of the local land use regulation and master plans so that you're not in conflict. The intent is that an industry standard and or a government, say the federal or state level, um, is not going to support something that's not uh, meeting the intent of the local zoning and or planning land use regulations. So it is a valid question and usually when people are trying to make public spaces and are specifically designed use of the property, they are trying to comply with a certain standard beyond the standards of our local land use regulations. And the other comment I have that I would like, uh, since you've talked about it and I, I believe having been part of the process quite a bit, is on when when you the chairman um, open it up to public and you make the statement uh, or the you know, statement about 
people wishing to make your comments in support of this or people making uh, wishing to make statements in opposition to this and then the third one which is kind of fuzzy and that is uh, people wishing to make comments of a general nature so if a person has uh, a positive comment um, and they go up and they make it uh, fairly brief the three minutes seems to be fine but uh, and then through the process of listening to um, the other people that are in support of or not in support of uh, we get the feeling that that uh, in general nature is a capability of a second round comment on a subject and so if you're thinking about uh, making the meetings more effective and efficient um, coming up with a statement as to uh, what that last category would be uh, to shorten it or um, I don't know if you that, that is part of that policy that you have to have a general nature uh, opening or not um, but it doesn't uh, it doesn't quite um, for the general public there's not schooled in policies procedures or protocol and plan board meetings it's it's kind of doesn't really have any framework mm -hmm. so um, <clears throat> that might be something that you think about and then maybe when you say uh, we're opening this public meeting to people who this first one will be for people who are in support of um, and you want to say a brief statement uh, and then same thing for people who are opposed of it um, I don't know if that last category allows further um, comments from the public as a result of listening to what other people may have commented I think that's where some of the confusion reigns. So, so uh, thank you, Frank. <coughs> and uh, just to looking at our bylaws, we s we're supposed to um, those speak in favor of the proposal application, those in opposition, those wishing to make a general statement regarding the application. So I think just maybe making that clear, but that is in our bylaws that we have to have that. Um, and then those in favor can have a rebuttal and those in opposition can al may also um, present a brief rebuttal so and certainly you can restrict any comments to planning board matters mm -hmm. and yep. which will kind of hone it down okay. somebody may ask a question and you say well that isn't really the planning board that's you know another yep. you know if you want more stuff you know call town hall we'll, we'll, we'll give you the information it's just that there are certain places where it's appropriate and where it's not yeah. <clears throat> but a lot of these were reactive to the contention that was happening at the time so they figured the best way to do it then was to get the business comments done the eyes and the nays and the generals yeah. and then after everybody was done have the uh, unrelated because that usually went to procedure or intent or you know things of that nature but you know it's, it's however you want to do it manager I mean basically you have the rules in front of you and you know I think the key thing is that the difference between a, a, a meeting and a public hearing yep. um, you know certainly you would have been it would entirely appropriate to not allow Frank to speak tonight mm -hmm. even though it was it's on the agenda so he right. would but if that wasn't there mm -hmm. then he would have no right he could ask your sufferance to ask a question which is chairman's discretion again remember that <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna start timing you yes <laughs> we'll throw, give an extra minute to yeah, Frank yeah <laughs> just for longevity mm -hmm. um, any other public comments I'm afraid now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll give you three and a half minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Anything else from the board? Someone like to do the honors this evening. So moved. 
All those in favor? Oh, no, we need a second. second. I'll second it. Well, Good. I'll second it. <laughs> yeah. All those well, in favor? Which one? Did you second the second? Yeah, yeah maybe. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Um, all those in favor of adjourning this evening? Aye. Aye. Aye.